Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And we are going to be working in the Halloween Coffin Journal again today. So hello, Penny. You made it. I'm glad you didn't have any snafus today. Because, you know, that's my whole life. My whole life is uh, snafus. <laughs> All right. I can move this because I know that I turned the sound on. Yay for me. Because, you know, that doesn't always happen. I was watching some other people's videos, and I'm just waiting a second for people to come in. But I was watching some other people's videos. And I was like, man, you know, it seems like the um, um, viewership is down right now. I wonder what's going on where uh, there's not lots of people watching the live streams. Um, but... In any case, I'm happy for those of you that were able to join me today. Hello, Wendy. Thanks for coming on with me. And uh, so if you are new to the channel and you love doing junk journaling types of, of, of um, related projects, then this is definitely the channel for you. You can hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out. So, um, also we have a junk journal Facebook group. It's called junk journal buddies and the link is below in the description as well. So you can come and join us over there. People are sharing their creations. So it's not just me, it's other people as well. So we would love to have you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm sure the rest of the crowd will be here very shortly. I think I had the right time on here this time. <laughs> Because, you know, like I said, my life is just full of snafus. So I took a few things out, which, you know, I haven't really been doing that lately, too. But this is the journal that we're going to be uh, working in. You think it's school? Penny, you think it's school where people are not watching as much? I guess that could be. People are just trying to get into the swing of things. I know up north school has just started because... Um, I believe Slim, he doesn't even start school still for, oh, he might have started today, so I need to get in contact with him. All right, so I'm working on this, and it's still kind of in deconstructed mode, so I'm just going to pull the pages out of the cover, because I'm not working on the cover today, and I got, I um, actually was doing some sewing after I got off of the live stream yesterday, and guess what? I ran out of thread and I thought I had more black thread, but I may around here somewhere. <laughs> so I had to go to a Walmart. Hey, Rachel, I went to your favorite place yesterday. I went to Walmart. Well, I went today and uh, they only had they had one spool of black thread because I was going to load up because I knew I had lots of black. But good thing this one is the larger spool of thread, which is 500 yards. So that was a good thing. But first, so I um, may get to doing some more sewing on these, but I'm just going to move these out of the way because I want to work on these black pages because, you know, black is just black until you do something to it. <laughs> so I'm going to, I can see my fingerprints on here, y'all, because y'all know I had to, I had to grease up my hands because lotion doesn't work for me. I had to use some, I have to use some oils. All right. So this is one of the pages I showed you guys or you ladies I showed you all these pages and this is um, this was done with some glimmer mist and I used a stencil for this I have a um, sugar skull stencil and it's up in the shop as well and that's what it looks like so it came out pretty good I like the way it looks and that's the other side and it was kind of an experiment because y'all know my life is an experiment over here. <laughs> I love experimenting. And then I just sewed some uh, lace down the side of this. I actually have a paper clip on here because this lace is hanging off and I didn't want to cut it. And I was just trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with it. So I'm still thinking on that one, but I just put it up in a paper clip just so it can be out of the way. So I'm not going to do anything with that one. So let's put that over to the side. And then we have this one, and I actually stamped this with um, one of my stamps, and I think, 
I think I used orange and orange um, ink, but it you just can't see it. It looks kind of white. Yeah, I think I used this one, Color Box and Caliente. That's the name of it. And I did this side with a um, a leaf. It wasn't this leaf, but I did it with a leaf. And I like the effect that it came out with. But I think I used Caliente with this as well. All right. So now I have three, what, four, four more that I want to do some stamping on. And y'all know what? I cannot find my Halloween stamps. I know I have some because I used them in my planner like two years ago. <laughs> But I can't find them. I had like a bat and I had some other stuff. And they were wooden stamps too. I don't know what I did with them. I got to get this place cleaned up. It is out of control. So let me get my little paper out so uh, I can begin stamping. Because before you know it, I'm going to look at the time. And I'm going to be like, um, it is an hour already. Okay. So... Let me just look for one more thing real quick. If I could do it real quick, quick. Okay. I know, I think it was Penny that gave me the suggestion that when I'm stamping, I should use like some, um, foam so I have some I have some fun foam in this little this little container here actually I'm kind of looking to see what else I have in here <laughs> I haven't been in here in so long like, ooh, some interesting stuff in here but I just need a piece of fun foam so when I stamp it'll have like a little bit of a padding behind it hopefully that'll work out for me and we'll just put that all the way up under here and let's see so I am going to now I'm gonna use this stamp which is a um some birds in a so it's a Hampton Arts some birds in a cage and don't ask me why I'm using the birds in the cage I just I just thought I would would <laughs> yes, Livies, and hello. Yes, I feel like they should be uh, around here someplace. I like to say I have an uh, an organized mess, but I don't know. Y'all, wait a minute. I didn't set my camera up right. Let me get it set up correctly. All right. So I can make sure the focus isn't going crazy. Okay. Let me get... my stamps out here and actually I got this stamp and this, I think this is a bow bunny stamp and it has an owl on here and I really like this owl a lot and I'm going to use this silver and it's a Studio G I got the uh, ink from Tuesday morning so let's try the owl and of course y'all know how I love repetitious patterns so this is going to be some repetitious patterns going here and I don't know how the silver is going to come out on the black but I'm very hopeful so I'm going to start over here and he's going to be hanging off the paper a little bit to start with and I always like to try to leave the stamp down just a few moments before I pull it up so you know that paper can catch the ink that's my story and I'm sticking to it Ooh, he looks good. Now I just got to watch out. Don't get that ink on the other side of the paper. All right. And. Okay. And I'm just going to keep on uh, stamping here. Make sure I'm on in frame. Nothing worse than you're talking and you're running your mouth and you're not even in frame. Okay. 
This tail didn't come out too good, but that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. You know, this is the land of imperfection here. So it is all good. I'm just gonna keep on stamping. So what are you all working on today? I didn't even ask, how are you all doing today? I'm not a pro, but you know what? I'm not worried about messing it up either, though, because, I mean, it's just black cardstock. <laughs> and I'm not even going to tell you, Libby, how long I had this cardstock, because I probably had this cardstock for a few years, too. That's how I know. Y'all, this is like a weird pad. It's. I'm going to show y'all what it's doing. I've had this, I had probably had this ink for about two years, too. And the pad is reacting like it. Let me show y'all. Let me see if I can get y'all closer. It's almost like the pad disintegrated on me. Look, can y'all see that? It like, I pushed the, you can still see the outline of the owl in there. Look at that. When I press it down, y'all see? It didn't even come back up. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. This is probably some cheap ink, but I mean, the ink is going down okay. But that is weird. When I pressed it in, I was like, man, this is going deep. <laughs> what the hootie hoo is going on? You get it? Hootie hoo. Hoo hoo. That's the owl sound, in case y'all didn't know. All right. I'm going to press this down. And it's like really pressed down. That's wild. That is just wild. So Livy says she is working on editing some videos. You go, girl. I need to make like some recorded videos. I'm be, I'll try to loot the recorded videos if I can, cause y'all know what? I don't like editing, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I think this fun foam under here is working out pretty good too. All right, so that's what we're looking at so far. Oh, y'all know when I asked you about, um, I asked you all about the embossing. I had some embossing powder. I just never, I've never used it, but I haven't had that for two years. <laughs> I must admit, I just got the embossing stuff, but I haven't used that yet. I pro That probably would be good on this paper, but I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready for that yet. Not ready for my embossing. All right. Ooh, it looks lovely. I like this color. I feel like it's taking me a long time to do this, though. But mainly because this pad. Y'all, this pad. I don't get it. I like I really don't get it. Uh oh. I forgot to move my fun phone. This pad is just weird. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like hills and valleys now. That's weird. Guess I might have to get some more silver. I mean, but it's working. It's very nice and juicy, I have to say. Nice and juicy pad is just very weird. Owls. I think owls are uh, kind of Halloweenish because they're nocturnal animals. Hey, Caroline. How are you doing today? So they're very kind of Halloween-ish. That's kind of cool. Let me ask you all about the embossing powder. Like if I just use this, well, I probably don't need it, but if I just use like a regular ink, can you use embossing powder with regular ink or do you need like the embossing ink? I have embossing ink, but uh, inquiring minds just want to know. 
One day I'm just going to have to play with, with the embossing stuff. But I don't know. All right, I got my wet wipes out today. Because I might use this owl again. So I have to give her a bit of a clean up. I need to start putting my stuff back when I use it. Because it's like I start out putting my stuff back and then, I don't know, something goes wrong. <laughs> and then things just go crazy. All right. So I'm just going to set him aside because I don't know how long that ink is going to take to dry. And I, I don't want to take out my, um, my heat gun at the moment. I may, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that at the moment. So... This time, I have like a bunch of bugs here, and y'all don't know. I think this is an Inky Dinky Doo stamp, stamps, but I don't remember because I'm notorious for taking my ink, my um stamps out of the um out of their packaging because the packaging just gets on my nerves. But I see people do it all the time, so I'm gonna put some bugs on this one, and I think. I'm only going to put stamps on one side, so the other side you can still write on it, which I believe you can still write anyway. And I think I'm going to use, let's use these frames. All right, I'm not going to use, I wonder if this pad is going to go back to normal. Well, here's another Studio G, and I've had this for a few years too, and this one is like a white um, pad let's see it is and these are pigment inks too uh, it doesn't say what the color is on this one I don't know it looks white to me all right hey Lisa thanks for joining me all right Dun, 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 dun. Let's see how this is going to work. Got my fun foam under here. And hopefully we got enough ink on here. And I'm just going to go right down the middle to the side. I'm going to try to do this straight. Let's see, what are we going to do? All right, so Penny's telling me about the embossing ink. She says, okay, the deal with embossing powder is the ink has to stay wet long enough for you to get the powder on there. It works, it works better with embossing ink, but pigment ink works. So this is pigment ink that I'm using now. So I didn't get nothing out of that. Uh-oh, y'all yeah, think that this one didn't work out. But that's okay, because y'all, I could cover that up. All right, so I wonder, I think this pad is a bit dry, because there's nothing coming out on my finger. All right, I'm just going to toss this. I'm going to toss it right now, or else it's just going to go back up. All right, so I'm going to take this off what little residue might be on here, which is probably nothing. And I'm gonna use this color box orange. And that is wet still. But like I said, I had these inks since the beginning of time, for real. I've had them for a while. So I'm gonna try to hit that same spot. Even if I don't, it's gonna come out like a little, a bit of a shadow, I think, so. Make sure I have my little pad under here. Y'all, it's hard to see too with the lights because the lights create all kinds of shadows and stuff. So I don't know where this is hitting. But we'll see. Yeah, the owls look fantastic, don't they? Look at that. They look fantastic. And I have some ideas for those owls too. Because like I said, you really can't mess anything up. Hmm. That didn't really do anything either. I mean, I could see it a, a, a smidge. All right. Hmm. All right. I know that the orange, there's something in it because I used the orange. All right. Let's use 
Let's see if I get anything. No, it's going to be too dark. That's not going to work. Huh. Well, the only one that seems to be working is the silver one. Y'all, I'm thinking now. Because, I don't know, my orange should have came out. See, there's orange on there. That's weird. I pressed it down. I have something underneath. And it just didn't, didn't take well. Huh. Okay. So... Um, I'm baffled. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Now, I don't have that many inks. I think that's about it. That's what I have for inks for this that will work for this particular job. Huh. Is the orange transparent ink? No, it shouldn't be. No, it's pig, It's just pigment ink. Caliente. Actually, I've been using this, so I don't know why it's just not showing up on here. And actually, maybe that's just the way it's going to show up because this is the orange. And see how it shows up on the black? It still shows up pretty good. I guess, well, I guess this is about the same. It's like... To me, it looks really light. This looks a bit darker. I'm gonna. I'm going to continue on with this because sometimes I, I've never used this particular stamp, and sometimes I found that I have to use the stamps a few times before they start picking up the ink good. But which doesn't make sense. But it is what it is. So I'm going to do one that I don't even want to touch. It makes me want to. Oh, uh, eh, the spider. Eh. All right. And let's use this one again. Because I'm not giving up on this one. See, it has good oranginess. So let's see how this is going to work. I'm just going to find a spot to put him on. And I can see the ink pressing down on the paper. Maybe it's the paper. Okay, see, that one came out good. The spider would come out good on there. Nasty spider. All right, I'm going to do... I think I'm just going to... I don't really want the spider on here. <laughs> I don't want any more spiders on here. Yeah, I don't like spiders. They're gross. All right, but the rest of the bugs are okay with me. But not that dang on spider. Okay, I'm going to. Now, now for real, I'm experimenting. I do not have any of the uh, stamping kits up in the shop. Now, I did show you all yesterday um, some of the guest check kit, kit. So, if you weren't here yesterday, I'll show up to you again. Let me just finish stamping this. Okay, this is like a uh, kind of moth slash... Uh, no, it's not dragonfly. It's a moth. <laughs> I would like to call it a dragonfly, but I think this is a moth. I like the way the moth looks. I got some ink on this side too, but that's okay. I'm gonna go off. Well, let's do the, the inside parts first. Let's do a little bit of repetition here. And get this going. this again I keep forgetting I need to move the only thing about this fun foam is it's like so small it needs to be a spot bigger go over that silver part there yeah see 
it hit it. It hit it. Put some over here on this side. I'm getting closer and closer to myself, so. I'm trying not to like contaminate the other side of my paper with the ink. All right, so this side needs a little work still. Um, what I think I'm gonna do let me just clean the moth off while I'm thinking, 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 thinking. Because this page is still not a loss yet. It's not done done yet. Um, now that moth I have used before, so I think that's how come it worked really good. And I used the owl before as well. And he worked well as well. So let's put like, um, we're gonna make him a raven. We'll put the raven inside of the box. Right. Let me turn my page here. I mean, inside of the frame. See if we can put the raven inside of the frame. It might have something to do with the stamps too because I think these Bow Bunny stamps are pretty good. Because I've even gotten some of the Tim Holt stamps and they were just like really crappy stamps. Yeah, I don't like this, but it is what it is. This side, I don't like. But I'm gonna leave it the way it is and just kind of zhuzh it up later. Everything can be fixed, okay. Uh, let's put this over to the side momentarily and I still have two more that I wanted to stamp but I'm not really feeling the stamping now so my stamps ain't working out the way I wanted them to and I just decided to take this big stamp out let me move that out the way and Let's see how this is gonna look. Like I said, like I kinda don't wanna do it cause I don't wanna mess things up, but at the same time, I have to remember that it's okay. It's just a piece of paper. There's no mistakes. I can cut this over again if I had to. That's, that's how I have to, what I have to tell myself sometimes. When I want to like hoard stuff, I'm like, no, Liz, you don't have to hoard anything. You can probably get it again. You have plenty of stuff. It's my voice of reason. All right. Let's use this. Make sure everything's rubbed on evenly. Okay, that's good. And what I'm gonna do is like whatever gets on here. Ooh, that was really good. Better than the other side. Just do kind of like some spots. I just wanted it to have some kind of pattern on it instead of just being just blank. So I think that worked out. 
okay and some spots are have a deeper color than other spots but that's okay all right so I have ink all over my hands all right let's wipe this one up wipe it off my fingers hey Linda how are you doing Linda thanks for joining us we're working on the Halloween journal again I'm working on doing some of the um, darker pages today Although I don't think I finished with the white pages, but I'm gonna do darker pages before we start putting our ephemera in. All right, I'm just gonna put this aside. Man, you can tell this uh, this stamp has been used. All right, I still have one left, and let's see what are we gonna do with this one. <clears throat> I'm gonna use let's see I have some Halloween stamps here but I don't think I've used these I actually I remember getting these I got these at Goodwill and it wasn't Halloween when I got them. Okay, I think maybe I'll use this one, which is just a pumpkin, and I should get some good coverage with this, with the pumpkin. Y'all know I should have did some stenciling with the Glimmer Mist, because that works good too. And I'm just going to do my patterns here because that way I don't have to think about it too much. I can get it done. Start getting this book going. Y'all, it takes me so much longer to do uh, bigger books than it does smaller books. I don't know why. It seems like they will all be the same. It has the same amount of work basically, but... I still get finished so much faster doing smaller books. All right, so now let's just wipe that off. Give it a little wipe off. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do on the stamping, I think. All right, so uh, like I said, I'm going to leave this side blank and we have this side. So let that dry a little bit. I think these are still they might be still drying just a little bit and then we had this one which is okay <laughs> they're always wanting something <laughs> that's a kid for you they always want to eat right I don't know why they had like at least two meals earlier <laughs> y'all I like this okay so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna play around with this a little bit because it's calling me. These owls are asking me for more. So. Alright. So here are my gel pens. I just keep them in a little container by my desk. So here's my gel pen. So I am going to like. Let's see. There is an orange in here. There's a few or orangey colors in here. So let's take them out. That's more like a. A neon orange, I think. It's almost, oops, sorry, y'all. It's almost like um, the same orange. Let's see, this is more orangey. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to like color around his. Should I just do his eyeball or around his eyeball? Let's go around his eyeball and see how it's going to look. And since this is a gel pen, it's like a glitter gel pen. It shows up real good. So let me bring y'all down a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. Ooh, look at the shadow. Y'all don't know how, I wish I knew how to do some shadow puppets. <laughs> I would do some shadow puppets for y'all. All right, let's get the focus together. There we go. All right, so let's do the other eyeball. 
you know, I don't have to do this, but y'all's like all in the details. All in the details with the little things that you do. So I like that. So uh, I think once this one dries, he'll be the same color as that one. I think, I mean, I used the same one. That, his eyeballs are a different color. That's weird. Anywho, I'm gonna do all his eyes. Well, let's see. Let's try a different color. Cause I'm just playing around now. <laughs> it wants a an accompanying stamp for decor. Well, you know what's gonna really make it uh, stand out is it's going to uh, it's going to have some stitching. So the stitching always makes things really stand out. All right, I'm going to get like this. I know this brown color; it comes out kind of like gold, a little like a gold color. So I'm gonna do this one's eyes. Let's do the eyes. I'm just only going to do the eyes because if I try to do too much, I'm going to destroy the owls. And let's see. Another Halloween color is purple. So let's do a uh, purple color. She's concentrating, y'all. She's concentrating. Uh-oh. This one's not coming out. You better work. I haven't had you guys that long. And I always keep the caps on. There we go. I think. Come on, purple. Come on. Oh, Mr. Purple don't want to work right. He must be clogged. Anybody have any tips on unclogging gel pens? But I don't know why he's clogged though. Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I can't do that because you all all hear everything. All right, I don't have a. Oh, I have another purple. Let's try this purple. It's a little bit darker. Okay, it's going on. It's hard to see, but it's there. It's kind of, kind of too dark. But since I did one eye, let me do the other one. And then... Ooh, almost messed him up. He might dry lighter because I, I feel like the other ones are drying lighter. And let's do... The green. Let's try a little green action because green is like a Halloween color too. Which is really weird. Green orange and purple are like Halloween colors of course orange is the big one. Oh, I did take out some other stamps I could use I don't have any other inks though I wish I had some other inks but even though the ink pad has clearly gone bad for the silver it actually came out the best See, now I can see the purple on here is coming out. That's cool. I like this. Let's use this one again. I'm trying not to put my hand in it because with these gel pens, sometimes they need a little time to dry. Roll the tip on its side. Sometimes it will work after that. Okay, I'm going to try that. Y'all had got like a whole bunch of glitter pens from a garage sale and none of them worked. I was so upset. Those were my first glitter pens too. I was like, ooh, I found some glitter pens. I was so excited. They didn't even work. <laughs> they didn't work at all. All right, let's see. I feel like maybe I just need a regular piece of paper too. Because this is um, deli paper, so I might have a little bit of wax on it. Grab uh, a post-it note. Oh, look at that. See? 
is working. So let's try this purple. Let's try this purple. Good thing I didn't just toss it because I'm good for tossing a pen. Ooh, that's much better purple than the other one. It's much brighter and it's going to dry brighter. I don't get to use my gel pens enough, so whenever I take out black paper, I love using the gel pens on it because it really stands out. Ooh, yeah. I like that purple. Thank you, Linda, for that tip because I am kind of pressing down a lot. So I'm going to try not to press down too much. All right, let me use it brighter green down here and I'm going a bit lighter on my uh, hand so you all give me some good tips I'm so happy to be with y'all so yesterday uh, Chris let me know that I had some stuff spelled wrong on the guest checks and I fixed them immediately I'm never embarrassed when somebody tells me my spelling is wrong because I already know I'm a terrible speller. I have a public school education that just keeps giving. <laughs> it keeps giving and giving and giving. All right, so that's going to dry lighter as well. He looks like he has one eye right now, but I know this is going to dry lighter. So I like that. Okay, so what else can I do to... All right, let me put him to the side and I'm gonna get this mess jacked up ink out again. And I have my Amy Tangerine stamps. I love these stamps. Even though they're all, I'm always crooked when I stamp with these, I still, like I love the way these look. Love it. So we need number 31. And I am going to attempt to kind of hold these together. It usually comes out to be a wacky mess, but let's get my 31. I'll put 31 on here. This page is just going to be a bit of an experiment. Since that already looks kind of jacked. See, I don't like that. Yep, I might have to toss this one. Let me do 31. So it can be closer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a bit of a fail. I don't like the way that came out. It's the, it's the um, ink. It's giving me uh, conniptions because it's like so much lighter than the rest of this. But... Um, I still, I, I feel like I can save this page because <laughs> I can always put something over it. Um, this side is okay, but this side, uh, not so much. I don't like it. It's, uh, an experiment gone badly wrong, but I have some pockets and things that I could put over there. So that's not going to be an issue. Um, so I'll still do some sewing. Okay. Let me get the sewing machine out. So I can do some sewing. Let's put this back up. Because I didn't like the way those came out. This wasn't a good application for uh, my some of my favorite stamps. I still love these stamps. But in this case, uh, not so much. It didn't work out for me. It didn't work out. Okay, let's put these back in here, and they live next to me, so they don't have far to get back to their homes, and this is still good, it's just feels wacky. All right, um, let's get the sewing machine out. Uh, let's get the sewing machine. I can't see nothing. Okay, here we go. 
and I just need to change I have blue in here so I'm gonna put black so I was using blue for something else so let's get the black out Y'all wish I was one of those people that could work on stuff fast. I'm always amazed when I watch some of the other journalers and they're working like uh, um, they're working like on the live streams and stuff or the recorded videos. I'm like, man, they get like a lot done. Uh, me, I don't know if I get that much done while I'm on doing something like this. It's just. Because as much as I don't want to, like, think about what I'm doing, I have to think about what I'm doing when I'm making journals. It takes me out of my element. Hey, what's going on here? All right, here we go. All right, and then I need... Just gotta get my bobbin out. I should have a bobbin already. It has black. Y'all, the whippersnapper. I was sewing with the whippersnapper today. The whippersnapper was eating some stuff. I said, whippersnapper, are you hungry? What's going on? Tried to eat my fabrics. Why, thank you. I needed that, Livy's. I needed that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to sew around the edges of these because this is what really makes things. Even though this is black, the black on here will still give it a, a quite a bit of a bump up when it comes to uh, decor decoration. So now I am going to select um let's see number 50. We're going to do number 50 on our brother SQ9185 computerized sewing machine aka the whippersnapper. All right. Oh, let me make sure get this right for y'all I think we're focused good enough for today I did get some orange thread today too but I think I'm just gonna stick with the black because I think things start looking really tacky when you change the colors up too too much because I could do that too I can go into the tacky realm I should have made the stitches a bit longer on here, but that's why it's taking so long. <laughs> the whippersnapper is gonna have to work on this on this paper. Y'all just noticed I stamped everything upside down on here. What the heck was I thinking? Wait a minute, y'all. This page is uh this page is a wrap. I just noticed everything was upside down. Look. Is it? I think it is. I don't know why I was thinking like this was like the, I don't know. I might could get away with that. No, cause the stem of the pumpkin is up here. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, let's toss this one. I can use that for something else. Ay, ay, ay. My life today. All right. Let's just not do that one either. Let's not waste our time. Let's go to the next one. And I'm gonna use the same stitch because the other one didn't make the cut. And um, make sure this is a wider stitch this time. All right, that's better. This paper made the cut. The other two didn't make the cut because I don't know what happened. But I'm not throwing them away though because 
I can turn those into like journaling cards or something. Some tags or something like that. Because the other side doesn't have anything on them. Y'all know, y'all know us crafters, we don't throw anything away. Yeah, I'm working on another mass production of um, of journals, if y'all can believe that. I decided to torture myself again. But this time, instead of really like torturing myself, <laughs> I decided not to like give my myself like a goal number of how many to finish. So I'm gonna try to do like five at a time. And I'm doing some mini journals and they are absolutely beautiful. They're coming out so pretty. So I might give y'all a sneak peek, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about y'all today. <laughs> Well, I always have good feeling, positive feelings about y'all because I always tell you this is like my, um, my funnest time of the day. To come on the live stream with my junk journal buddies. This one is a good. And I'll show you when I get done. This one came out nicely. Just put this over to the side. And I think I have one more. Where's the owls at? Oh, here they are. The owls are trying to hide from me. All right, and the owls, I'm going to give them a number 54. Number 54 for Mr. Owl. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? <laughs> That's what I always think of when I think when I see an owl. The world may never know. Yeah, I watched a lot of TV when I was a kid. My, our three channels got some work out. But you know, we didn't have all that cable and stuff. I was watching on Netflix yesterday, before I went to bed, I was watching um, the 80s, I think that's the name of the, uh, it's like a, I guess it's a Netflix series, and I didn't really realize that, you know, cable didn't come along until like the 80s, I was thinking it was before then, but I guess not. I know they had some semblance of cable before before the 80s. They were talking about the TV shows and stuff like Miami Vice and Hill Street Blues, and I used to like Hill Street Blues. I wasn't that crazy about Miami Vice because those are not the type of shows I like anyway. I did like Hill Street Blues, and I, you know, I didn't even think about it. I didn't realize Denzel was on um, uh, Saint Elsewhere. I think that's what it was. Saint Elsewhere. So that was kind of cool to look back at the 80s. Now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like watching me mess up my stamping. <laughs> I demand a thumbs up. Alright, Mr. Owls are done. Alright, so I only had to really sew have been three. Oops. Sorry, y'all. I should have one more. One, two, three. Am I missing a sheet? Let's see. I missed, messed up two. And then I sold two. And somebody is missing. Oh, no. That's right. 
That's right, that's right, that's right. All right, let's move this out the way momentarily. Uh, so I can get my bearings, get my bearings on what still needs to be done. Let's move these stamps out the way. They may still have some residue on here that can contaminate what we're doing. Let's move all these jokers. All right, so let me show you these two. So see, now this is what it looks like with the sewing on it. So it looks rather nice, I have to say. So I like that. And I like the stitching on there. And then this one with the owls. I really love this one. I could definitely do this page again with the owls. And I'll cut all the little stringage and stuff off as well. So, and I left the other sides with nothing on them. So, let's see. All right, so we got, I'm going to have to do some more black ones because they're part of my equation. I did have a little bit of an equation for this. I was kind of making it up as I went, but <laughs> I want to have at least six black pages. So, I'm going to have three signatures. And, ugh. Let's see what else we have here. Make sure I'm gonna come up a little bit. All right, and then these are just kind of like the plain Jane papers. I like the way the flowers came out yesterday. I love how this page came out. It doesn't have a spider on there, but I love the spider web. All right, those over there and that's kind of a plain Jane. Oh, I can do some more spider webs. Because so I need two more spider webs. So let's do that. Let me see what time is on here. Oh, we're almost at an hour anyway. Y'all, an hour goes by so fast on here. I guess I won't. And then I had these that I need to finish. So I started finishing these yesterday. And I ran out. This is where I ran out of steam. Y'all look at that stitch. Isn't that beautiful? I love this stitch. And then I ran out of, uh, not steam, but I actually ran out of thread. So I have to finish that. I got that one. We got that one. Oh, for those of you that weren't on here yesterday, let's see if I can find. This place is such a mess. I'll show you what they look like. We have our guest checks. And these are the digitals that are up in the Etsy shop right now. And, oh. Hold up. Here they are. All right. So these are the digitals that are up in the Etsy shop. And I did fix lettuce and I fixed chili. So... <laughs> And this is what they look like. You get five PDFs with this. And um, they all have like something that the monsters ordered on them. So I thought that was kind of cool. They're just really fun. And then I made them in some different sizes. So you'll get a sheet like this. And then you get like some, uh, I call them itty bitties. Get you some itty bitties as well. And then you have like the back of the checks that you can use for journaling spots. And then uh, you have another set of the monster checks. So you have the zombies, ghosts, monster, and ghoul, witch, and warlock. So we have all of those. And then also, I put up yesterday some vocabulary. So these are vintage vocabulary cards. And again, these are, um, they are digital in form and you get five PDFs for these and you get two sizes of each of the words on here. And they have like the little definitions on them and everything. So these are pretty cool. I already started using these as well. So um, I think you will enjoy those and uh, let me just give you guys like a before I shove off I'm going to show you the journals that I'm working on now 
can give you an idea of what I'm working on now. Because I have one that's actually finished. So I have a... Uh, they're going to be some mini journals. And they are like patchwork. And they these... These have to be my favorite journals so far coming out. So um, I'm going to do a few of these before I actually release them. But if you see one that you're interested in, let me know. This is going to be number the number one. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just going to. I just want to give you guys like just a little bit of an idea. And I actually was able to use like my faux tags on here also. They look so lovely. This journal is actually beautiful. You can see it's stuffed. It's full of ephemera and some extra goodies and stuff. And yeah, I, I outdone myself. And uh, so this one is the one that's completed right now. That's the number one. And this is the number two one. And I still have to stuff it, but the but the outside of it is done. You can kind of get a uh, gist of. Um, the inside of these that have uh, pockets and stuff so I'm not gonna show you the rest of it just yet it's gonna be a surprise <laughs> but so I'm working on these right now so they're coming out really 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 uh, beautiful thank you Penny all right you all I am going to shove off thanks for hanging with me on my little bit of a my um, stamping debacle <laughs> I really appreciate it because I always enjoy it when you all come on with me. It makes me happy. And so I hope you will come tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe so that you'll know when we come on. Hit that notification button. Also, give this video a thumbs up before you shove off. And if you're coming on on the replay, I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up as well. And come join us over at Junk Journal Buddies Facebook group. The link is in the description below. So with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease. From your sweet lotus blossom and lovable Lizzie, have a fantabulous day and enjoy life. <laughs>